As you may know, I'm rapidly approaching finishing my PhD dissertation about tactus transformations in metal. The first chapter of that has dozens of cool examples, and I'm going to throw you a tasty little morsel from those as a treat. So this is a quick video about a very slick tempo modulation in the title track from the underrated Do Not Deviate by Replisire. <laughs> This album is really, really good. It's got that kind of core adjacent heaviness and aggression without any nonsense, and as this riff will maybe convince you, lots of pretty original, slick rhythmic tricks that make people like me perk our ears up. If you remember back to the early days of this channel, I did a video about a tempo modulation in a wormed song where they took the dotted eighth note in one tempo and turned that into the quarter note for a new tempo. So this pivot tempo modulation in particular, where the dotted quarter or dotted eighth becomes the quarter in a new tempo, is relatively common. It's probably the most common type of tempo modulation other than double and half time, which don't really count as tempo modulations in my opinion. This type of tempo modulation happens, for example, in Primal by Entheos, which I also did a video about. lots of other songs. As part of my dissertation, I've made a lattice to map the various versions of 2 to 3 and 3 to 2 tempo modulations that are possible. All of these ones where the dotted quarter or dotted eighth becomes the new quarter are rightward motions on this lattice, give or take a factor of 2. But what if we did the reverse of this? So moving leftward on this lattice. One version of this is also pretty common, like what happens between the verse and chorus in the chemist song Isolation where the quarter becomes the dotted quarter, but the meter also changes from 4-4 four, four to 6-8, so it doesn't feel like the tactus actually changes, it's just the number of subdivisions per B that changes. So we go from batu batu datu datu to da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
But this riff is like jumping from something very stable across a big gap to land on like a railing or something narrow or unstable. You not only have to make the jump, but you have to be super precise to stick the landing because where you're going is a lot less forgiving. There's a lot less margin for error. It's a lot easier to kind of lose the groove if you're going somewhere where people are doing things that are dissonant relative to each other. writing tempo modulations in metal, you're already in a pretty niche corner of the music world in the grand scheme of things. I think it's something else entirely to be writing tempo modulations like this that are so counterintuitive and uncommon even among tempo modulations. And as always, I'm reminded that I love that metal is a place where people dig this deep into finding weird, surprising ways of putting sounds together. And the cool thing about this album is that it has lots of very clever inside joke type thing where they take technicality just a little further than most but it also just completely and utterly slaps all the way through, so you should definitely check it out if you don't know it. So yeah, maybe they should have called this song Do Deviate, uh, in the sense that they are deviating, you know, from like what most bands are doing. So maybe a bit of a misnomer. See ya. <laughs> 